From Wall Street to Main Street, this is LA Late. It's a huge night with just days away from one of the most important numbers that impacts your stimulus, the Consumer Price Index number being released on Tuesday. We'll go over the latest details on what it means for your lifetime of stimulus, and it's a big shocker. We have a new prediction that came out minutes ago this weekend. All the latest details for you across the board. But yes, the big news is that there's so much money for you. Now, 16 categories of stimulus check found by this channel paid out done by Congress, done by the President of the United States. The first three, $100,000. The next incredible checks thereafter found this week two more categories of checks, bringing the grand total to 16 categories of four similar checks, 100 to 200 checks. I'll show you how to get them in today's recording. You go into this video, become a member of a Hawk Pearl Power Casino VIP. We'll go over these incredible checks that have been passed and that the Purple Power community are getting. It's huge money, you're gonna need it. Because the latest breaking news as well is that inflation is gonna be with us into 2023. Purple Power, you gotta pounce to get this big sum of money. The big week upon us coming up is gonna be huge. CPI, PPI, retail sales, all big, because it gives you an indication of how much, yes, your benefits are gonna go up. We're gonna go over the range of your benefits. Many of you have seen $5,000. We'll have the latest details you need to know from the shores of Santa Monica, California tonight. Plus, we'll have the comments from the Federal Reserve governors that said, we're not a game show. That's L.A. He's a game show. <laughs> well, no, they didn't say it that way. But they basically said they're not a game show and they don't want to play uh, a, a, a game of cards or backgammon with Wall Street because you're going to lose. All the latest details of <laughs> what the Federal Reserve said. Uh, they're getting a little bit spicy, a little bit salty. Uh, salty Federal Reserve governors. <laughs> well, the latest details you need to know in today's recording. But the big news is that that CBI is being released on Tuesday. The Consumer Price Index number, and this is the second of three numbers that will gauge how much your benefits are going to go up. Lifetime, it's getting exciting. See, in the second half, we got a big money. That plus 16 categories of stimulus. 100 to 200 checks. Oh, baby, it's a big night of Indians LA. The breaking news starts right now. And good evening, everybody. Boy, it is getting exciting. As this new week, we learn about your lifetime of stimulus, and we ended the last week with two new categories of checks. Can it be any better than this? Well, maybe this week I'll find two more categories of checks. It's a big week coming up, and I got to tell you, I haven't seen a more exciting week on L8 in a long time. Perhaps the most important week of the month of September. Stay with me over this one-hour broadcast. We're going to go over all this money for you, and make sure you become a member and say the second half as we go over all these incredible checks one at a time. 16 categories, 100 to 200 checks. People have got to them. It's for you if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Rural Benefits. If you're on disabilities, if you're a retiree, if you're a veteran, I got you money. And I got it all for you. Welcome to the wonderful new members to LA1, LA2, and LA3. This is the broadcast you want to watch. And it all starts right now from the shores of Santa Monica, California. I hope you're having a beautiful night. For a Saturday, September 10th, 2022. I told you this weekend was going to be a big weekend. And I underestimated it because minutes ago, indications came in about what we should see. And that consumer price index number being released this week, which is so critical for you. Why? Because you and I know, because I've been featured on this channel since the month of May, that you need three months of data for the CPI to determine how much your benefits are going up lifetime. This is really exciting. We already got that first month back on August 10th, and now the next number is being released, the second of three numbers, on Tuesday. Wow, this is getting exciting. On Tuesday, the second of three numbers, and I already told you, you just have to have this really 
flatten and out, plateau, be basically flat, and you're in a great circumstance. Let's go over what's at stake for Tuesday, and then let me go over the predictions that Walsh is looking at. Once your benefits go up, they never go down. So let's say your benefits go up 10% this year. That's a lifetime. At least... Because the next year inflation is 2%, then you go up 2% on top of 10%. This is huge. Why are your benefits going up so much? Because of inflation. But you want your benefits to go up before inflation goes down. How long have I been talking about this on the channel? All year long. And earlier this year, I thought that inflation may fall in a few weeks. Well, no, it's not. The latest details tonight is that your benefits are going up an enormous amount, the largest of a generation. But we're waiting to see. Those three words on the graphic there, CPI, PPI, and retail sales, this coming week. It'll give you a guidance of which of you are getting 5000 which of you are getting more, and which of you are getting less, of that benefits of a lifetime raise across the board. What's happening on Tuesday? And then let's go back to how it impacts your wallet. Tuesday, the second of three CPI numbers that determine how much your benefits are going up a lifetime is released. The first number was released August 10th and it was basically flat. It was about an 8.5%, but the component parts went up month to month. We call that the core CPI, the component parts, like milk and eggs and rent and uh, labor uh, salaries. They all went up month to month. So we wanted to make sure that this inflation stays about the same flat or go higher for the last two months because only three months determine your benefits. We'll go over that in a second. July, August, and September, which is released a month later. So we're getting the August data this Tuesday. It's getting really exciting. Now, if, if, if you can contain yourself in the excitement, can you please sit down? Because I'm about to tell you really exciting, great news. The exciting, great news, and again, it, this is analysis, it's not fact, is that the analysis going into... The 8.30 a.m. Tuesday, September 13th announcement of the Consumer Price Index number for August is that the core CPI will go up and that the headline CPI will be basically flat. Folks, this is absolutely jaw-droppingly exciting. I'm reading off a graphic that was released minutes ago because there is so much to go over, and i got to keep track of all these numbers for you. This is jaw-dropping breaking news on a big Saturday, September 10th, 2022. On Tuesday, we already knew that the September 13th date will start at 8.30 a.m. Of course, that's Eastern Standard Time, with the Consumer Price Index for August being released. But we didn't know what the consensus of the analysts would say. Now, they may be wrong, but this is what the consensus is is that the headline number will be basically flat, decreasing 0.1%. That's not 1%, that's 0.1%. And that the core CPI, which is the, the component parts, what we talk about, like the CPI-W, will go up 0.3%. Wow, that is huge. Now, we're looking, we're looking, we're looking at year-to-date. The core CPI may be going up 6.1% year-to-date. Folks, this is jaw-droppingly exciting news tonight for a big broadcast from the shores of Santa Monica, California. Why is it so exciting? Because this is what we were looking at, and this is what we were talking about. We understood that there's a lot of ways to gauge inflation before the CPI was released this Tuesday. And I've been training you over the last year how to do it. First, we look at other benchmarks, and they've been flat. Retail sales released two weeks ago, flat. Producer price index, flat. And the personal consumption expenditure index released about seven days ago, very flat. But then the component parts have been going up. The salaries went up in that job creation number released last Friday. The rent is believed to have gone up, but we don't know because it's 30% of the CPI. And the gasoline has gone down. But boy, this is really exciting because remember the gasoline did go up yesterday a lot. The Brent crude, international Brent crude, was 104 two weeks ago, then dropped to 88 last, early last week. I was really worried for you because this impacts inflation when it drops. It surged up to a 94 again. That was really quick. So when we're looking at the situation tonight with the CPI, what am I projecting? I'm projecting that their projections are correct. You're in a great circumstance. Let's go back to what's at issue. Your benefits are determined by something called COLA, cost of living adjustment. And it's determined by three months of data. 
the CPI-W for the month of July, released back on August 10th. The August number being released this September 13th, Tuesday at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then the September number released around October 14th. It's huge. Now, what do we already know? That basically, inflation had tracked higher since May. And that the component parts is really important. This impacts your benefits. What had happened? Well, that CPI print in May was when it really surged out of control to an 8.6%. Then in July, it went to a, a 6, uh, excuse me, a, a 5.6, uh, an 8.6%. In July, it went to a 9.1%. And so we wanted to see this August re coming off of these May and these June numbers. You know, sometimes I say it's May and June. It's the May, it's the June number released in the month of June. Here was the May number, 8.6%. The June number, just even higher, 9.1%. The July number, then 8.5%. The August number, this Wednesday, this Tuesday, they're now saying it's going to be 8.48%, basically the same number. Huge breaking news across the board tonight. So let's go back to your benefits. Are your benefits going up? Absolutely. You, if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Rail benefits, Veterans benefits, are absolutely going up an enormous amount. The largest of a generation, direct deposit, otherwise the mail, you don't have to do anything. Some of you 5,000, some of you less, some of you more. What are the calculations at issue? Well, the Seniors League, when looking at data for the month of uh, May, or the May data released uh, in June, said, hey, with that 8.5%, we believe your benefits are going to go up 10.1%. And over the last two weeks, I sort of uh, struggled with a projection of 10.1% because, first, I don't know how much gasoline is a component of the CPI-W. It may not be a very big component. Number two, the gasoline's going up, it's going down, it's going up, it's going down. It's really hard to project. So tonight, if the analysts and projections are correct and that component CPI, the core CPI is going up month to month, your benefits are going up astronomical. This is absolutely everything you've wanted for, everything we've covered on the channel since the month of April. It's in the membership newsletter. Go into the video, become a member. Purple Hawk, Pearl Paracal, you know, VIP. The other major making dues tonight, of course, are those incredible four stimulus checks. There are now four stimulus checks, 16 categories of them, 100 to 200 checks across the land. And I've been finding them for you, finding them for you on this channel. We are now at, you're ready for the drum roll? 16, yes, 16 categories of four stimulus checks. And in those 16 categories, there's 100, 200 checks. You're not gonna see these checks anywhere else because I look for them and I find them for you. We started with checks A, B, and C in March, then seven checks passed by Congress, E through K. Then I found you L and M three weeks ago and an O two weeks ago. Uh, P and Q this week. What will I find for you this new week? It's a lot of checks. Let's go over the history of these four stimulus checks. Again, this is for you. Everything that you have ever wanted for is happening. The excitement heats up right now. The first three checks are A, B, and C, done by executive action of Joseph Biden in the month of March. And then the later checks came from Congress, and the later checks came from different sources. Let's look at each of those incredible checks, starting right now. A, B, and C, $100,000 done by executive action of Joseph Biden in the month of March. You qualify. Go get them. Single individual, $75,000 less. Go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less. Go get it. And if you're on benefits like SSI, SSDI, if you're on disabilities, if you're a veteran, go get it. How do you get it? You go into the video, become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Casino VIP. Join the channel as millions have and watch this channel. Over the last two years, and you deserve these big sums of money, go get those incredible checks, A, B, and C. But while A, B, and C are wonderful, and they are a lot of checks, over 100 checks and over $100,000 right there, I found you more checks. And what are those new checks? Well, those new checks bring us now to hundreds of checks. What were the next checks after, after A, B, and C? The next checks after A, B, and C were passed by Congress, and those incredible checks that the Senate delivered to you and Congress did are checks E through K. E through K, just absolutely incredible. I'm going to go over all those incredible checks of E through K in just a second. What followed thereafter? Three weeks ago, I found you check L&M. 
Two weeks ago, I found you check N and an O. I said, should say checks. And this last week, I found you checks P and Q. Yes, you're hearing me right. Now, 16 categories of 100, 200 checks. You're not going to see this anywhere else. In broadcast media, they don't care. They don't research. They don't have the details that I have on this channel. And you want to go get them. Go on to this video, join this channel, get these incredible checks. The breaking news coming up in just a second in the big second half. The other major news heating up to today, of course, is the, er is the housing market and also the earnings recession. The housing market really fell apart in the last two weeks. What have we seen for that housing market? First, existing home sales down, new home starts down, builder's confidence down. Prices were holding up, but that's no longer the case. The seller who is trying to sell their home, 20% of them have, have, to, have had to drop the price of their home in the United States in the housing market right tonight. Number two, what about the price of homes selling that eventually do sell? 41% of homes selling tonight are lower than the price that they were selling in 2019. Yes, the average sale price of a home in the United States is now, 40% of them is now below levels of 2019. 14% are below the levels of 2021. Moreover, the time to sell homes is growing to five days because homes are not selling. Mortgage applications are falling dramatically. Mortgage refis are down nearly 86%. And the mortgage rate, are you ready for this one? It was 3% a year ago. It has surged to 6% tonight for a 30-year fix. No one can afford a home. This is why the housing market is clearly in a housing recession, says the National Association of Home Builders. The other major story heating up, of course, is the Federal Reserve. The Federal Reserve is really sick and tired of Wall Street playing games with the Federal Reserve's words. And I was wondering when this was going to happen. When this was gonna happen. I've been featuring this on this channel for a long time, and no one likes people ignoring what you're saying or playing with your words. And that's what the market has been doing. The market has been taking the Federal Reserve's words and ignoring them wholeheartedly and coming up with another narrative. And the Federal Reserve in the last two weeks has said, folks, you need to stop it. We have the latest comments coming in tonight that came in late on Friday from Leo Brenard, Vice Chair again. It says, we're in for this for the long time, as long as it takes to get inflation down. So far, we have expeditiously raised the policy rate to the peak of the previous cycle, and the policy rate will need to rise further. We had the day before that, um, Will Waller, excuse me, the same day on Friday, Waller speaking on Friday, we had... Um, we had Boulard, Bailey, uh, Boulard, um, Daly, um, Bowman, and then uh, we've had, of course, Jay Powell talking on, I think it was Thursday this last week, and then at Jackson Hall the week before that. The narrative has been the same. The Federal Reserve is going to raise rates till they get that inflation to 2%. If that CPI prediction for Tuesday is an 8.4, 8.3%, the Federal Reserve is going to look at that, and you and I are going to look at it and say, Mission not accomplished by the Federal Reserve. Can you imagine? I last year said that inflation was going to be 8% and it was going to be with us for a long time, not one month, a very long time. No one in their right mind, with the exception of the guy with the purple orchids behind him, said that. I was the only person saying 8% inflation is going to be with us a long time. And imagine we are going into the late part of September and the inflation has barely even gone down 1% in nearly three quarters of a year, and has to go to 2%, how long are they going to be raising these interest rates? Certainly into next year. That's my projection. And certainly, they're going to keep it at 75 basis point. That's my projection as well. And to go over my projections, to go over the latest details of the stimulus, is to go through the incredible worksheets. Let's pull out our incredible worksheets right now. Here they are, incredible worksheets are part of those incredible four stimulus checks in every U.S. state. The worksheets are in the newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time from the shores of Santa Monica, California. Let's go over those incredible worksheets right now and what you need to know and everything you need to get. What's at issue with those incredible worksheets tonight? Well, those worksheets are delivered to members Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time in the L.A. newsletter. Yes, they're in the newsletter around the third line. And the first page of the worksheets, we have a lot to go over tonight. That first page of the worksheets, which is a PDF about seven pages length, is Inflation, Recession, Labor, and the Federal Reserve. Well, here you go. Tonight, the breaking news is huge. The projections for that inflation, that CPI on Tuesday, 
will be the headline numbers flat. The component parts will go higher. The Wednesday number coming out from the Federal uh, coming out, we're going to be watching. I did not say this earlier. I forgot. Let me go over it right now. On Wednesday, September 14th, we will have the producer price index for August. The consensus is the headline number will decrease 0.1%, but the core will increase 0.3%. Retail sales will be released on at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, uh, and that is on Thursday, September 15th. And then the labor rate, uh, the labor number is expected to grow to 225, 225,000 from 222,000 last week. That's the breaking news. Boy, there's a lot of breaking news on our weekend. That's why you can't miss a recording. And then the Federal Reserve. I'm saying the Federal Reserve is definitely going to do 75 basis points through the rest of this year at all of those FOMC meetings. The next one's about two weeks out and then we'll likely stay at 75 through much of next year until they get inflation to two percent the next page of the worksheet is so important why because it gives you an opportunity to really keep track of all the incredible stimulus you're applying for and tonight you got a lot of stimulus to apply for let's go over this second page of the worksheet it's a table to keep track of all your stimulus you're going up you're applying for Dragon got $148,000 by using the second page. Then we had the incredible Link Lang getting 12 months of utilities. Another viewer got 12 months of utilities. Two viewers got 14 months of rent, and Link Lang got uh, some money for rent as well. We had Frank out of Florida who got incredible numbers of checks, 18 months of mortgage, 18 months of utilities, 18 months of high speed, and he got that from check B. We have another viewer who got massive sums of money, and that is Spelly. He got check A. And he got some check C. And then we got a wonderful view out of Florida, another one, who had applied for check B for her, forgot she had. And when she got contacted by the state of Florida, said, ma'am, you've been approved for what? 18 months of her mortgage. My goodness. And for her utilities, let's say it's four utility bills per month. That is five checks times 18 months. That's 80 checks. That is huge. That is absolutely incredible. Now, here's what you need to remember about how many checks we're dealing with so far. Check A. One check, one category check. Check B and C. Both about 80 checks in one category each. But in the case of checks, you have 12 places to reach out to for those 80 plus checks. Checks E through K, one category, one check. L through uh, O, us, half of them are one check, one category, and the other half are multiple checks, multiple categories. Incredible. What do we know tonight about gasoline? This is really shocking what has happened to gasoline in the last few days. Gasoline, I thought we were going to call this a day and said, okay, it's down and it's going to stay down. Well, I guess I should have listened to myself because I told you a few weeks ago that gasoline is going to come back down and then as soon as the hurricanes pick up, it's going to go right back up. Guess what happened? Hurricanes picked up and guess what happened? Gasoline went right back up. It'll take, they always take off line the refineries they disrupt the dis the the pumping and then in the fall you always have increased demand well the price of gasoline went the other direction gasoline international price crude had dropped from 104 to 88 yes it was 88 the start of this week the end of the week it went nearly back to a hundred dollars that was a mere a mere shocking move now one of the numbers myself specifically has been very critical about, and I may not feature it anymore. I'm just, I'm thinking about it. I just, I really don't like this number. It's the AAA national average of gasoline at the pump. The reason why I don't know the, like the number is I don't know what is the basis of averaging. Do they take all 50 states and divide it by 50? Do they take all 50 states and divide it by the number of citizens in the state and gives it a larger weight to, let's say, New York, that is more citizens than Vermont? Or do they do it based upon the size of the state? Texas is a bigger state than Delaware. Why? Because I look at the graph, and there's a lot of states that are nowhere near this low average of $3. They're all near 5 and $6. So I don't understand where they're getting this low 3 320 340 In fact... In the last week in Los Angeles, the price of gasoline continues to go up. I could not find a cheap gallon of gas anywhere, less than five fifty. So I don't know what they're talking about. I don't see that reflected anywhere on the landscape in the American public. So I'm not going to potentially rely upon that number anymore. Gasoline may not be going down as much as they're indicating across the board. Then. You have a table in that next page of the worksheets to print out to take track of 
your benefit raise. So let's say the seniors league is, league is wide, a 10.1% raise. You can run that calculation. If they're not, you can do another calculation. Boy, very, very exciting. Now, the other major breaking news that we're dealing with tonight, of course, is the earnings recession. More companies reported earnings this week, and we'll be going over them in just a second. Remember, make sure you become a member to get these incredible stimulus checks. In the big second half, we're going to go over all these incredible checks one at a time. 16 categories, 100, 200 checks. With that, let's understand why it's so important to get those incredible checks. The falling apart of corporate America. More companies reported corporate earnings this weekend. What happened? They really did not do well. The corporate earnings that came in on September 9th were luxury home furnishing retailer RH fell 1% on disappointing revenue. Then Virgin Galactic slipped 2% after Bernstein downgrade. Naviant slipped 2.1% after Barclays downgrade. Zumias fell 13% after disappointing earnings and also a, a lower street estimate. It's a nightly recording on this channel where companies are downward guiding for the rest of this year. Boy. We got a lot to go over in the big second half. And that big second half involves your stimulus. Meantime, if you haven't, make sure you jump over to the show that everyone's talking about. It's called Metaverse. Episode 1 is currently airing on Channel LA Light 3. You find Metaverse at the top of this video. There's a link to it. Jump over and watch that show. Episode 1 is currently airing. Episode 2 is about to roll out. Also, do not forget that LA2 is the talk of the town with that live show airing Stimulus Live on LA2 Monday through Sunday all day long, practically. You can jump in that live chat because guess what? It's open to everyone. Members, non-members, subscribers, and more. Jump into LA2 to watch that incredible live show called Stimulus Live. In the big second half, we're going to go over all those incredible checks for you. You deserve these big sums of money. Go get them. Massive sums of money. See you back in 60 seconds as all the breaking news continues on a big evenings of Evenings L8. From the shores of Santa Monica, California tonight, we got a lot of checks to go over, and I'll see you back in 60 seconds. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. The excitement continues right now for a beautiful Santa Monica, California, with the big e update tonight about your four stimulus checks in every U.S. state. These were passed by Congress. They were passed by the President of the United States. 16 categories and huge sums of money. You want to become a member, go around this video, become a member, get those incredible checks. Again, the first three checks, A, B, and C, passed by the President of the United States, Joseph Biden, by executive action in the month of March. Viewers like Frank Mancuso have been getting these checks ever since. If you're new to this channel, you can still get these credible checks. They're still available. A, B, and C, we're going to go over in a second. They are $100,000. It's federal stimulus. It's from the federal government. It's not from your states. The next checks are huge. And there are hundreds of checks. They bring you from E through K, passed by Congress, and then L through Q, 
hundreds of checks and you deserve these big sums of money. How do you get it? You become a member. You get that membership newsletter. You go down and apply for each of those incredible checks. And what are those checks? We're going to go over each of them one at a time for you, Purple Power, starting right now. The first checks are the incredible A, B, and C. Those incredible checks, A, B, and C, started in the month of March, and we've been getting them ever since. Let's go over each of those incredible checks starting right now. Check A is $6,500, a fourth to most check in every U.S. state. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, go get it. And if you're on benefits, SSI, SSDI, Social Security Railroad Benefits, go get it. How do you get it? You go into this video, become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power Casino VIP. Go down to where it says check A and go get it. This is a wonderful check that Spelly got. It's just huge. But we're ready to get check B. This is a check that Frank Mancuso got and that other viewer out of Florida got. She got 80 to 100 checks for this one. Check B is fifteen to eighty thousand dollars. Single individual seventy five thousand less. Go get it. Married couple one hundred fifty thousand less. Go get it. How do you get it? You go under the video. Become a member. Purple Hawk. Purple Power. Casino VIP. Join the channel. Welcome to hundreds of new members, upgrading members, returning members. Remember, if you are a Purple Hawk member, make sure you keep your membership updated and active. Because why? A month ago, I had one stimulus. I had just checks A, B, and C. Three stimulus checks. Tonight, I have 16 categories of 100 to 200 checks. For three weeks in a row, I've added two checks new every week. That's why you want to be a member and stay a member. Go down to where it says check B, click the link, and go get it. Incredible. <laughs> there we go. Check A and B, that's $100,000. We're not done there yet. We go get check C. It is for rent, utilities, mortgage assistance, and more. This is the check that Ling Lang got. She got 12 months of utilities. Another viewer getting 12 months of utilities. Two viewers getting 14 months of rent. It's just incredible. Go under the video, become a member. Go down to where it says check C. It tells you who to call, what to say, and how to say it. I've gotten people over $50 million on this channel since 2020, and a lot of it has been from check C. Here are some of the success stories. Do you want this money? Then go get check C's. Nisia, 20000 all the way up to Elizabeth. Do you want this for utilities? Then go get check C. Mark's brother in got $15,000. Lynn Glenn got 12 months of utilities last week. Combinations, well, here's Snap. Same brother-in-law uh, is getting a quarter million dollars a, over 10 years on this channel. Combinations of checks. Nisu is at 23000 Well, she went to 50000 Mark was at 32000 Then he went to this graphic. Then he went to 166 because he got check B. And Lorraine, she was at 105 Then she went to 155 Incredible. What do you do? You go under this video, join the channel, become a Purple Hawk, Purple Power Casino VIP member, subscribe, then make sure all your notifications are set to all on because you may want to get a notification when new checks are rolled out. And that's what happened for members when I made the major announcement four weeks ago that Congress on a Sunday had passed checks E through K. I had a special report at an unusual time slot on a weekend when that major breaking news came in. It's like tonight's breaking news about that CPI. Here we go. Let's go over checks E through K, starting right now, passed by Congress. E is $7,500. F is $4,000. G is a wonderful 30% off. H is $2,000. I is $8,000. J is $8,000. And K is $14,000. Incredible. Massive stimulus sent out by the President of the United States, sent out by Congress. You go get them. How do you get them? You go into the video and become a member. E through K are all listed together in the membership newsletter after check C, obviously, because it's later in the alphabet. Go down to where it says E through K. But we're not done there yet. Every, every week since the passage of E through K from Congress, I have found you at least one other new stimulus item. And are you ready for the new ones? It's exciting. L and M debuted on this channel three weeks ago by me. L is $100,000 on the average of loan interest-free money and includes $4,000 of free money grants. This is for the purchase of a, of a new home. Incredible sums of money. $4,000 of free money for grants, for closing costs, and loan interest-free money of $100,000. Huge. Then... That was L and M. Last week, I found for you checks N and O. And N is one of the most exciting stimulus items I've had on this channel for a long time. 
N is free internet. Yes, free internet or discounted internet. And it gets better. Stimulus N also has $100 for the purchase of a new laptop, computer, or tablet from a participating provider. And most tablets are great under $100. So this is going to really hook you up well. You qualify for seniors, for veterans, for SSI and SSDI. It's absolutely incredible. The program is huge. And this is Stimulus N. Then, Stimulus O, insane. It's so insane that every time I look at it, I have to read it slowly because I, I, I can't believe it's true, but it is. Stimulus O, a zero down payment and zero closing costs, mortgage with no requirement of a credit score check, <laughs> none, and zero mortgage insurance required. Insane. That is Stimulus O. That was where we were up to this week. 14 categories of 100, 200 checks, 100, 200 thousand dollars. And then came stimulus P and Q. It just keeps on going on. Stimulus P and Q are insane. Stimulus P is wonderful money for a 3% down payment merely, uh, excuse me, uh, down payment as low as 3% with no mortgage insurance for the purchase of a new home. And then $8,000, oh, is $8,000 of free closing costs. Now, what's incredible about this is that this is for existing home buyers who want to refinance their home, new home builders, new home buyers. This is for middle class, low income. It's for literally every swath of the American landscape. It's huge. Now, when you look at stimulus P and Q and you look at L and M and N and O, some of them look like they're a little bit similar. They are. That's what's great, and that's sort of something that's brand new on this channel this week. I call it competing stimulus. When you look at the items, yes, closing costs one uh, on M, 4000 Closing costs on Q, 8000 So 8 looks better than 4 but then when you look at the L versus the P, some people may prefer the P stimulus versus the L. They're all competing, and they're trying to really help you. And God bless them all. They're doing great work, and you are as well. You go into this video, become a member, and get that incredible stimulus. A through C, one at a time. Then E through K, feature together in the membership newsletter. L and M, N and O, P and Q. Oh, boy, it's getting incredible. Why well, find more this week? We will see. From the shores of San Marcos, California, the big second half continues right now with the latest details happening with the Federal Reserve. Boy, we got a big night across the board. From the shores of San Marcos, California, the breaking news continues right now on LA. The major story that really is heating up this coming week is the Federal Reserve and that economic data. The economic data is whether the Federal Reserve can raise interest rates or not. Well, that's what Wall Street wants you to believe, but I'm not going with it. <laughs> Wall Street has tried all these crazy stories over the last two weeks. First, Wall Street said the Federal Reserve is going to change their mind and stop raising interest rates. Wrong. Wall Street said the Federal Reserve is going to leave inflation alone at 8%. Wrong. Then Wall Street said, well, the Federal Reserve is going to do 75 for you know September and then call it quits. Wrong. Then, the latest one new this weekend is when Wall Street says, well, if that economic data this new week is a little bit softer, then maybe the Federal Reserve is going to change their mind. Let's be frank with that strange narrative from Wall Street tonight. If you look at all this economic data coming out this week that you're going to watch live on this channel, the CPI on Tuesday, the PPI on Wednesday, the retail sales on Thursday with the labor on Thursday, even if the numbers were shockingly major drops, which they aren't, of course, but let's just say they were, do you think the Federal Reserve would change their mind? No, of course not. The CPI, did anyone in their right mind think the CPI is going to drop to like 7% on Tuesday? No, of course not. No one ever thought that. Do you ever think it was going to drop, you know, to like 8.0? Of course not. No, it's not happening. And so when Wall Street says, well, the economic data may be a little weaker than, than projected, who cares? <laughs> I mean, who cares? If the CPI comes in, the headline number, comes in at 8.3% instead of 8.4%, does it make a big deal? No. They got to get inflation to 2%. They got to get inflation to 2%. So why is Wall Street talking about 0.112 change of the CPI? 
The Federal Reserve has to get that CPI to 2%. Has to get that CPI down enormously low. And it hasn't even moved at one percentage point in nine months. So every time that Wall Street says that, it just makes me want to roll my eyes. Now, I had told you that the Federal Reserve is watching what Wall Street's saying, and the Federal Reserve is not going to tolerate it much longer. But I got to tell you, looking back at this last week, I'm a little bit surprised that the Federal Reserve governors came in as quickly as they did and just really clamped down on this nonsense coming on nonsense coming from Wall Street. I thought the Federal Reserve may just you know, sort of sit back and let Wall Street run their crazy mouths. And no, Fed governors, whether it's Loretta Messer or Jay Powell or, 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 or Williams out of New York, had basically, with very, very polite words, said this week, you're crazy. <laughs> You're crazy. And no, I didn't say that. Uh, and no, you're mincing my words of the Federal Reserve. And no, uh, we already told you what we're doing, and you're not listening. You're not listening. You're crazy. It's just all versions of the same sentence. And I think that was really well needed. But I got to tell you, I have seen this narrative go on for a while, and I don't think it's going to be easy to, to quelch it. Squelch it? Quelch it? Smelch it? <laughs> I don't know. We're making up new words today. I don't think it's going to be very easy to stop Wall Street from running these false narratives. That the Federal Reserve is going to stop those interest rate spikes. That, the, that you should buy, 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 buy our stocks right now. No, 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 you should not. Let's make this very clear. September, FOMC meeting. 75 basis point increase for interest rates. October, same thing. November, same thing. December, same thing. That's four months. And we're not done there yet. I'm not saying... That's what is etched in stone. I'm saying that's my projections. We all believe that inflation is going to continue into next year and will not reach the 2% until maybe potentially the middle of next year. Well, that's not four months of interest rate spikes. That's nine months, eight more months, more months of interest rate spikes. Imagine when you look at that 30-year mortgage rate. And it's 6% tonight and was 3% last year. What do you think that 30-year fixed mortgage rate is going to look like come March of next year, because everyone always sells their home in the spring when the daisies are out and the birds are flying around and the butterflies are, are chirping. No, butterflies don't chirp. The birds are chirping. Uh, when the butterflies are f butterflying. <laughs> everyone sells their home in March, and no one will be able to sell their home in March because if the mortgage rates are 6% right now, imagine what they're going to be after nine more interest rate spikes, six more interest rate spikes, eight more interest rate spikes really high. You could certainly see a 7% mortgage rate. And no one can afford a 7% 7 7 fixed 30-year mortgage rate. No one can. And no one has cash to buy homes, which is what, you know, the realtors were trying to tell you a few months ago. When you look over at Wall Street, yes, Tesla had a three-for-one stock, stock split. Three-for-one stock split about you know two weeks ago, and yes, it was up what ten dollars on Friday, which is huge because that's thirty dollars. Yes, it's now back up to nine hundred dollars, but it was down to eight hundred just a few days ago. When you look over to cryptocurrency, everyone trying to proclaim it's back. Well, I'm proclaiming it's back in that new hit show on LA3 called Metaverse. At least Metaverse coins are back. It's happening. We'll go watch that show. A link to it is at the top of this channel. But I got to tell you, people trying to paint everything a little bit too rosy too quickly. Why? I think because they want your business. I really do. I think they want your business. The... the Investment analysts on Wall Street want you to trade stocks. They don't want you to just hold things in cash. They don't make money if you hold things in cash. The bond traders want you to uh, to engage. And certainly the home sellers want you to buy. And uh, and the mortgage uh, companies want you to refi. They want you to refinance. Of course you're not. <laughs> and that's why you need to get that forced almost check in every U.S. state. Go on in this video, become a member, Purple Hawk, Purple Power Casting, you know, VIP, and get that stimulus. Get that massive stimulus. From the shores of Santa Monica, California tonight, the exciting great news is that there is 16 categories of 100, 200 checks. Your benefits are going to go up. Big, massive stimulus. In every U.S. state, you get these big sums of money. $100,000, you become a member. Go under this video, become a member, get these big sums of money because of a two-year recession coming around the corner. Boy, you're going to need it. And I'll be here with you every step of the way.
from the shores of Santa Monica, California. God bless. Thank you for joining me on a big weekend edition. The news continues throughout the night. Stay here, stay informed, stay focused. And as always, stay with LA for more. <laughs>